Actress Lana Turner was one of the biggest sex symbols of the 40s and 50s. Back in the day, it was nearly impossible to find a man who wasn't crushing on her. She turned heads when she walked down the street, stole the screen when she made an entrance, and attracted the affections of many a suitor. Largely because of her almost universal appeal, in the mid-40s, Turner was one of the highest paid American actresses. During the 18 years she was under contract with MGM, Turner's films earned the studio more than $50 million. While we could easily devote a video to just listing her many career accomplishments, today we're going to be taking a closer look at Lana Turner's love life. She married a total of eight times to seven different men, and beyond that she had quite a few lovers and affairs. But really, who in Hollywood didn't back then? Ronald Reagan Long before he became the 40th president, Reagan held the honor of becoming the first romance arranged for Lana Turner by the studio they were both contracted to. It's generally believed, however, that the relationship never got serious. They went on a couple of horseback riding dates together, but maybe things got more steamier than that behind closed doors. Mickey Rooney in 1938, Lana and Rooney appeared in the film Love Finds Andy Hardy. Rooney later claimed he had taken Turner's virginity and ended up impregnating her. He further insisted she even had an illegal abortion to cover up what had happened. Lana, however, denied any of this ever actually happened. Greg Boutzer Another person who is said to have possibly taken Lana's V card is Greg Boutzer a man who was a notorious womanizer and attorney for some of Hollywood's most influential players. Lana was 17 when Greg became her first serious love interest. Being the ladies' man he was, Bowser was also hooking up with Joan Crawford behind Lana's back. When she found out about his cheating ways, Turner immediately kicked him to the curb. Robert Slack Throughout World War II, Bob Slack and Turner were on-again, off-again lovers. He normally swooped in when she was in between more Seth. serious relationships. Eventually, though, he grew tired of Enjoy always yourself. being the second choice. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, Hi, be sure to give it a like. And subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. And stick around for a lot more about Lana Turner's lovers. Artie Shaw after being stood up by Greg Bouncer for the last time, Lana ran away to Vegas with band leader Artie Shaw. She had met Shaw once before but had never felt a strong connection. While driving to Sin City, Shaw and Turner discussed philosophy and shared their outlooks on life. Turner fell madly in love with him and they got married later that night. Four months later, after learning they had little in common, Shaw and Turner were divorced. During the brief time they were together, Turner got pregnant. But Shaw doubted he was the father to the baby, and Lana ended up having another abortion. Victor Mature Lana and Mature dated shortly before the attack on Pearl Harbor in late 1941. Their relationship never went anywhere, though, because Mature met and fell in love with Rita Hayworth. Tony Martin not long after divorcing Alice Fay, singer Tony Martin met Turner while on the set of the film Siegfeld Girl. After things got serious, Martin proposed to her, but they never actually ended up getting married. Martin later wed the beautiful Sid Charisse in 1948. Jean Krupa One of Lana's biggest loves was music, and during the Second World War she spent many nights in the company of well-known musicians, many of whom she ended up dating. A few of her musically inclined lovers included Tommy Dorsey, Buddy Rich, and Benny Goodman, but perhaps her most serious musical romance was with drummer Gene Krupa. The two met while Krupa was going through a pretty hairy divorce. Sources close to her speculated she might have married him if it wasn't for his preoccupation with marijuana, which she found off-putting. Robert Taylor while filming 1941's Johnny Eager, Turner and Taylor became infatuated with each other. Their fellow cast and crew members were astounded when they would engage in hot and heavy love scenes that would continue on for minutes after the camera stopped rolling. After Taylor's wife Barbara Stanwyck caught wind of what was going on, she went to the set to tell Turner to back off her man. But after Taylor told Turner he was fully prepared to leave his wife to be with her, Lana got spooked and put a stop to things. George Montgomery A year before he married Dinah Shaw, George Montgomery and Lana Turner briefly dated. Before he dated her, he was engaged to gorgeous Hetty Lamar, but decided to get off putting married to instead fight in the war. While he was overseas, Lamar got married to actor John Loder. Frank Sinatra 
While still married to Nancy, Old Blue Eyes and Turner had an affair. After he and Nancy divorced, the High Hopes crooner married Ava Gardner. While Lana adamantly denied hooking up with Frank while he was married to her dear friend Ava, it's speculated they still enjoyed each other's intimate company. After Frank and Gardner divorced in 1957, it's well known that Turner and Sinatra continued to see each other. Stephen Crane After dating briefly, Lana married struggling actor Stephen Crane in July of 1942. Crane had yet to finalize his divorce at the time from his first wife. While pregnant with her and Crane's daughter, Cheryl, Lana got the marriage annulled. In July of 1942, she married Crane once again to prevent her daughter from being stigmatized as illegitimate. She and Crane divorced a little over a year later in August 1944. Turan Bay Lana and Bay dated for a short spell in 1944, but he broke things off because his mother didn't approve of their relationship. Fifty or so years later, Turin ran into Lana at a party and told her she'd been the love of his life. Tyrone Power After Power and French film star Annabella finalized their divorce in 1946, he quickly got into a romance with Turner. Not long after, Lana became pregnant. She desperately wanted to be Tyrone's wife, but he was much less eager to become a father. Turner eventually agreed to get an abortion while he was on a 12-week tour. While he was away, he learned Lana had been seeing Frank Sinatra. Feeling betrayed, Power informed Turner he'd fallen for Linda Christian, whom he later married. Lana was devastated and later said Power was the greatest love of her life. Peter Lawford in the late 40s, Turner and actor, producer, and socialite Peter Lawford briefly dated, but it's said he was a lot more in love with her than she with him. Lawford later married Patricia Helen Kennedy. Bob Topping Lana married this wealthy man after he won over her affections with lavish gifts. After walking down the aisle, they went on a glamorous five-month honeymoon. At first, she loved living the super-rich lifestyle, but after a while, grew tired of it. In 1949, the couple lost a baby. In 1952, she and Topping finalized their divorce. Lex Barker Lana and Barker started dating in 1942. A year later, they were married. After losing a third child, Lana confided in her mother that her daughter Cheryl had told her Barker was sexually abusing her. After ordering him to get out of their shared home, Barker insisted that whatever Cheryl had told her was a lie. At that point, Cheryl's name had yet to come up, so he did a pretty good job at incriminating himself. Fred May After fleeing a rather abusive relationship with mobster bodyguard Johnny Stampanato, Lana got married to a much more pleasant fellow named Fred May. The two lived together for a year before exchanging vows in 1960. Two years later, they divorced, and another two years after that, May passed away. Robert Eaton when Turner and Eaton walked down the aisle in 1965, Lana was 10 years his senior. Her friends insisted he was using her, but she wouldn't listen. That changed, however, when she came home from filming a movie to find him in bed with another woman. They got divorced in 1969. Ronald Peller Lana's seventh husband was an interesting character. Peller had long hair, rode a motorcycle, and worked as a hypnotist at area nightclubs. Turner probably married the guy to make her feel young again. Four years later, after finding out Peller was just a fraudster who was stealing her money and jewelry, Lana filed for divorce. Peller was later convicted of several crimes, including mail fraud and running a fraudulent diploma mill operation, and attempted murder for trying to hire someone to kill another hypnotist. Throughout his life, he went by as many as 40 different aliases, including Earl Clevenger, Bonnie Ritchie, Phil Harris, and Ronald Dante. After Peller, Turner claimed to be celibate for the remainder of her life. She died of cancer on June 29, 1995, at age 74. Now it's time to hear from you. Which one of Lana's relationships do you think was the most scandalous? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content. For content more mature and risque than YouTube typically allows, consider hitting the join button to become a Facts First member.